Hi, I'm Eje. I'm one of the co-founders of Kobo. We built Kobo for the new generation of researchers who want to work smarter, faster, and stay rooted in the academic integrity. I'm a former researcher myself. And in our team, we brought together product builders and researchers to give any learner the 21st century research tool that they deserve. In this video, I will walk you through Kobu, the AI research and study agent. You will see how using Kobu, you will be able to make sense of any complex text, academic articles, guidelines, or essays. You will see how you can run your first analysis and how you can use our unique canvas afterwards. This is your home. You see all your projects in this list. As a first timer, you will want to create a new project. So you can click on create new. When you do that, you see two different options, article analysis and smart summary. Article analysis lets you analyze your articles in depth using scientific best practices. If you have academic articles and if your purpose is research, then this is the way to go. Smart Summary, on the other hand, gives you a high quality overview of the content for efficient understanding. It includes quick answers, key takeaways and conclusions. If your purpose is learning, then you can select Smart Summary. Firstly, I'm choosing Article Analysis. And then you see that you have two options here. You can either upload from your device or select from your library. Library is your library in Gobu. So when you click on it, you can select from your already uploaded sources, or you can upload one from your computer. For the purpose of this video, I will select one of the sample files. You can also do that to see how the analysis look before you run one for yourself. Now I'm selecting this sample file and it's running the analysis. When the analysis runs, I land into this notebook. I get the notification that the analysis is completed. This tells you that now you can go ahead and edit the text. The AI analysis results are on the text editor so that you can edit the text directly and make it your own. This is essential for your own understanding. For example, let's just highlight this part. And the very nice thing is that every statement is backed up with the excerpts from the sources. So I can click on it and then read the excerpt. We designed this interface in the way that the excerpts are easily re readable. Then you can click on locate the, on the source and it takes you to the exact location in the PDF. We worked especially hard to make sure you go to the exact location. Then we can close this just by clicking outside or pressing this um, X. And on the left hand side, you see that we provide different sections. So there is a summary. There are concepts uh, that goes through some basic concepts and key concepts. And then there is a paragraph that explains how these different concepts are related with each other. Uh, then we have some key results and implications. Implications is, I think, especially useful because it tells you why these findings matter and how they can influence research, your decisions, or some real world applications. And then we have the, a detailed methodology, limitations, and contribution sections. And these are included in the researcher plan. A shorter version of them are included in uh, free and learner plans in the summary. But if you like to go deeper in research, then I would suggest that you get the researcher plan. That's the one that's right for you if you're interested in that article's contributions to the literature and also the limitations. So then you can go to the further readings. The further readings uh, are taken from the article itself. The top cited references are what, uh, what studies that this article's this article referred the most to. And further readings is if you would like to read more on this topic, which articles from the reference list uh, that you should read first. And finally, we have all excerpts. This is one of my favorite se uh, sections, actually. Uh, here we gathered all the important codes from the article itself. So these are not AI generated 
it's not an AI generated content, but we took it directly from the article. So the AI uh, picks what it thinks as the most important parts of this article. And you can see that we organize them under different sections. Uh, so summary concepts again, uh, so that you can more easily navigate uh, among these excerpts. And this section is crucial for you uh, when you're writing your citations. Uh, it is super easy, like it let, lets it super easy to select some codes and then uh, you can trace back your new ideas. And a tip from me is that you can, uh, you see a notes panel here, so you can easily like drag and drop uh, one of these codes and also like write your own ideas while having the direct code uh, from the article there. So this lets it like super easy when you're writing your uh, research, you will be able to go back uh, and see where you got that idea from. This is the linear overview. This is one part, but next we can click on take it to the canvas. Let's do that. And when we do it, we see that the analysis is added on an infinite canvas. I can zoom out so that you can see it is infinite. We can still zoom in and see the source. We can read it. We can read the article analysis and we can uh, scroll through the different sections. When I click on different sections, you will be reading um, the different sections that you saw in the linear format and you can see your notes. So this is the canvas, uh, which is your creative space. This is for you to really understand this information that in the way that makes sense to you. You can drag and drop parts out of the analysis, such as this. Let's drag and drop this one as well. And you can use the visual elements, such as our arrows, to put these in a meaningful way. Again, for you to understand this information, you can create different storylines. You can double click anywhere on the canvas and this will create a text block. This is a text block. A text block is a temporary element. It doesn't stay in your library, so it's not stored there, but it's great for brainstorming and scribbling. If you want to add a new analysis to this canvas, you can do that by clicking on this Add Analysis button. So let's do that and select Article Analysis. This time I'm going with another sample article. So the analysis runs and then when it's completed, I will be able to say, take it to the canvas. So let's do that. And you can see that it is added to the same canvas because this way you can compare and contrast different articles. So I can just select this uh, section as well and I can select this one as well. And I put them in the same project because these two articles will go into my same uh, research report or an article. That's why they're in the same canvas for me. And my favorite part is that all these bits and pieces are still tied back to the source. So I can click on the excerpt and still I can uh, see the excerpts and locate them in the source. So even though they're coming from different articles, it's very easy for me to understand which article uh, this piece is coming from. Now I will show you the smart summary in Gobo. Smart summary gives you a high quality overview of content for efficient understanding. It includes quick answers, key takeaways and conclusions. If your purpose is learning, then I would choose smart summary. So let's click on this. And for the purpose of this video, let's click on a sample file. And we will see that a smart analysis, a smart summary is being run. So I get the notification that the analysis is completed and this is great because it means now I can both read and also edit this text. As you can see, the smart summary gives you a summary section first, uh, your main uh, takeaways and then an outline. And then you have concepts which are um, differentiated between key and basic concepts. You can see some basic concepts here. Finally, we have a section that's called how are these concepts related? Uh, then differently from article analysis, we have some quick answers. Uh, 
So this is, a, you can think of it as a Q&A uh, of this document. This helps you really digest this information. And then we have some key takeaways, uh, which are essential points uh, for you to understand this article. Then we have some conclusions. And just like the other article analysis, uh, every statement is backed up uh, with direct excerpts from the article itself, and you can locate them uh, in the PDF. Like that, yes. And finally, we have all excerpts. And as again, similar to the uh, article analysis, all excerpts are not AI generated. Uh, meaning that the content is directly coming from the article itself. Uh, only that AI takes up the most important parts of this article. Again, this is great if you're writing something uh, so that you can select uh, some of these codes. You can even like put them in your notes uh, so that you are able to write your own notes and see where exactly you got your ideas. And these excerpts are also linked back to the source. So I can click on it and I can see where that excerpt is coming from. Let's look at the Canvas toolbar. The first button here is add an analysis button. This lets you add another analysis to the Canvas. The second one is create a new note. So you can click here and create a new note. Notes are permanent elements and they live in your library. You can add more text to your existing notes like this, or if you wish, you can create new notes. And then you have add from library button here. And let's click it. It opens your library and you can search among your notebooks. A notebook is an analysis, it's an AI analysis, and when you add a notebook to the canvas, it comes with the source PDF and its note. And then you can go to your notes, so you can add any of your notes uh, to this canvas or your sources. So clicking once on one of them adds it to the canvas. And next here we have different block types. You can just select one of them and create a new block. A block is a temporary element. Uh, you're creating it for brainstorming and they are not stored in your library. And next we have draw connectors. They are simply arrows um, that lets you work visually. And lastly, last but not least, you have a switch here. So this switch is to go between the canvas view, which is what you're seeing right now, or the list view of the project. So this canvas is your project and you can see it either visually like this or go to the list view like this. So you see a linear list right now. And uh, as you can see here, you are observing some bundles. I call them like bundles and each bundle comes with an AI analysis. It's uh, what we call notebook. It's notes and it's source PDF. This is for you to be able to organize your projects uh, in a better way. And any new note or a new source that you added, uh, except from these, apart from these uh, AI analysis, is shown as separate items here. And here you can go ahead and open uh, each one. And when you close them, you will go back to this project view. And if you wish to go back to the canvas, you can simply click on the switcher again. This is the project toolbar. Firstly, uh, you can add a new analysis to this project. And secondly, this button lets you create a new note. So let's click here and it opens a new note uh, in a full focus mode. You can change the title of the note. Let's write my note. Uh, and then here you can start typing and you exit this by pressing this X. And then uh, you can uh, add from your library. Let's click on this. This button is the same add from library button in our canvas. So you can look at the different notebooks. It means different AI analysis and add one uh, from your library to this specific project and then you can uh, go to your notes and add a new note, uh, add an existing note from your library to this project or your uh, sources. 
Uh, and next we have upload sources. When you click here, uh, you upload a new source uh, from your device to this project. And last, uh, we have the switcher here. So the switcher lets you see this project as a list like this or go to its canvas view. And you can easily come back like this. And from this project view, uh, it is very simple to go back home and see all your projects. Uh, just click on Gobu anywhere in the app and you will go back to home. Here we have the home toolbar. The add analysis button right here is the same as the create new button here. It creates a new project with your new analysis. And next we have create a new project button. When I click this, it creates a new empty project. And then let's go back. So here next we have the library. When I click on it, it opens my library so I can see a list of all my projects all my notebooks, which are the AI analysis that I run, and my notes and my sources. And finally, here we have the recently deleted. So if I click here, I will see all my recently deleted content that is created by me or by AI. So the notebooks and notes go in here or the sources, like all my PDFs, uh, all my images are here. So this way I can uh, take a look at them and restore them if I want to. Thank you very much for watching this video. Setting up an account in Gobu is free, so please go explore. You will get three free analysis upon sign up, and then we will add one analysis to your account every day. Please reach out if we can be of help.